Manufacturing a motorcycle handlebar in a local setting typically involves several steps, from raw material selection to final assembly. Here's an overview of the process. Blueprint creation. A design is created with specific dimensions based on the type of handlebar, e.g. straight, riser, drag bars. Customization. Some local manufacturers offer custom designs based on user preferences. Tube cutting. Steel or aluminum tubes are cut to the desired length using cutting machines like hacksaws, laser cutters, or pipe cutters. Bending. A tube bending machine or a manual pipe bender is used to form the shape of the handlebar. The angles are carefully measured and bent to ensure symmetry and comfort for the rider. Joint welding. If the handlebar has multiple pieces, e.g. risers or crossbars, they are welded together using techniques like MIG or TIG welding. This is often done in a controlled environment to ensure strong joints. Local fabrication shops. Many local workshops may have skilled welders for this step joint welding. If the handlebar has multiple pieces, e.g. risers or crossbars, they are welded together using techniques like MIG or TIG welding. This is often done in a controlled environment to ensure strong joints. Smoothing edges. After welding, joint welding. If the handlebar has multiple pieces, e.g. risers or crossbars, they are welded together using techniques like MIG or TIG welding. This is often done in a controlled environment to ensure strong joints. Local fabrication shops. Many local workshops may have skilled welders for this step. Joints are ground down to remove rough edges or excess powder coating. Powder coating or paint is applied for corrosion resistance and to give the handlebar a polished look. Chrome plating. Some manufacturers apply chrome plating for a shiny, durable finish. Internal wiring. Some handlebars are drilled to allow for internal routing of cables and wires, providing a clean look. Internal wiring. Some internal wiring. Some handlebars are drilled to allow for internal routing of cables and wires, providing a clean look. Are drilled to allow for internal routing of cables and wires, providing a clean look. Fit and symmetry check. Each handlebar is inspected to ensure that it matches the design specifications, checking for symmetry, smoothness, and strength. Load testing. Local manufacturers may test handlebars by applying pressure or weight to simulate stress during actual use. Final packaging. Once the handlebar passes all quality checks, it's packaged and ready for delivery or sale to customers. Local fabrication shops. Many local workshops may have skilled welders for this step.